Hello and welcome back to Oracle of Ages. Semi-minimalist run. When we last left our hero, we had just completed uh, the first dungeon. I did a little bit of research, and Mabel is every 30 enemies. 15 with her ring. The picture book she's talking about turns out to be an item further on down in the trade sequence. And that hardens. Ooh, that's a piece. Anyway, speaking of the trade sequence. Now let me go. <coughs> this item has to go back 400 years into the past. And there is Syrup's Hut. Can't get there without the flippers at least. It's easier to get there once you have the Pegasus Seeds, but all the same. I almost out of Ember Seeds. I am not allowing myself to wear that. Discovery ring. Actually, I'm going to switch out for that. Because it has a very useful property on the main map. And that it dings whenever it's in, whenever you come across a, ga a gasha spot, but we'll get more into that later. For now, we need to explore to the this direction. I hate this place. It's fun, but I hate it. I'm sure seeing a lot of pits, so I'm guessing that... Actually, I'm guessing that if you're watching this, you've already seen this entire game, so I'm not even going to bother commenting. But for new... for first-time players, it's a very subtle hint about what your next dungeon item is going to be. say it's underneath that bush. Very simple game. Um, 
not for sabotage. And that was just an excuse to give us to get us looking for the Harp of Ages, which is this game's plot item. It's not really a MacGuffin because it is useful, it's just not... It's hard to explain exactly what it is. It's... it's more like a vehicle than anything else. Don't you just love it when characters repeat each other? Now we've got one of the three tombs. Um, the Tune of uh, Echoes allows me to use these things to switch back and forth between the past and the present. They're very limited, and you can really only go back between the ones that are already there. The other two we will get as we go, and unlike Link's Awakening, all of them are required to complete the game. So the upshot of all that's happened so far is we need to go into the past and deface that same building that we destroyed in the future. Um, in doing so, we will actually cause it to gradually weaken over time and eventually collapse when we go to enter it in the future, thereby, uh, things. Time travel is always such a headache. But another thing, yeah, because we need to solve a subplot to get into it. Now, obviously, we need bombs. Um, what's not so obvious is that there's a bit of a treasure hunt going on. Um, Varan wants to prevent people from using mystery seeds. Um, to that end, she's got everybody hunting for mystery seeds so that she can gather all the seeds for herself. And everybody who brings in mystery seeds gets free bombs. Chief Shields. You're just a bug. That, that right there is the seed she's after. They're dead useful. 
Are you the cheap shield? I think there's another one there. Yeah, there is. There's one that sells them for 10. And you need to have them for the second version. The shield, I mean. I don't think I can actually open that chest. Bumper beetles! These are always fun. You're the cheap shield guy. Actually, we're going to grab all three of them. <laughs> okay, um, never mind. But as I said before, they're dead useful. And plus. A little bit of foreshadowing there, but again, if you've already played this through, then you already know that. What's interesting about the Oracles games is that the plot makes more sense overall if you play Ages first, simply because the villain for Seasons is largely doing villainy for the sake of villainy, whereas Varian at least is trying to conquer the world, Onyx is just trying to ruin the Wing Dungeon, and we will cut there for now. Until next time, see you around.